It's quite striking that all four of you talked about the demand side of energy, which is frankly rare or fairly new. Two or three years ago, it it's would have been trend. almost all about it. It's a new trend. <laughs> uh, and for any of you all who want to get a feel for this real time, there's a fun website or, well, fun if you're a nerd, I guess, uh, that shows the power grid in real time. It's called gridstatus.io. If you go to that website, you can then look at every US grid and watch real time what's happening. And you'll see exactly what each of you all talked about. You know, in Texas, for example, through the day, you'll see solar power start to ramp up massively. Power prices will fluctuate wildly, especially at sort of 8 a.m. And then to Greg's point, you know, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., when renewables uh, tail off. So it's, it, it's clearly needed. And we're going to see a lot. I do want to dive into the. I, I would yeah, just please. add to your yeah. point. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but for anybody that has a smart meter in their house, which is probably most people, if, if you're in a house, not not necessarily an apartment, but um, utilities actually give you access to that data. So you you might not know that they don't always advertise it to you, but there's usually a site where you can log in and see your smart meter data, usually in 15 minute intervals, and so you could actually pull up your house and see how your power moves throughout the day, you know, in line with what Stephen was saying about the grid, but see how your actually house spikes. And I think people are always surprised to see, you know, why am I using so much power at night? Or like, what was this mm -hmm. huge spike at yes. 12 p.m.? Like, oh, that was my pool pump kicking on. 